two, three. This is two questions with Jay and Jack. All right. So we saw on a uh, comedy show, I don't remember which one, that the guy's dad would let his um, son ask him two questions about how two things work. Any two questions, but especially about how things work. So we're going to try this. Jack, yeah. do you have two questions for me? Yes, my first one. What is your first one? How does a stove work? Because the, the fire doesn't burn the stove on fire. Ah, great question. Whew, how does a stove work? Okay, so we're provided by way of my money and some awesome smart people. Um, what's called natural gas and natural gas gets piped into the house mm -hmm. and up to the stove and it has pressure behind it so it's constantly being pushed into the stove mm -hmm. and there's a metal element where it is like a manifold it's divided out so when you light it it gets these little flames that aren't hot enough to melt the metal in the stove or in the oven and that's how it doesn't catch on fire because they keep the, the gas burns at a temperature that's not high enough to light it on fire. And, um, you know, that's how it works. However, the stove can still catch on fire if you allow things to drip down into the side of it that are able to catch on fire by the heat of that flame, mm. which is why we clean the stove so it don't catch on fire. Like grease will light on fire. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> What's your second question, Jack? Look in the here and state your second question. Remember, you gotta look right here. Okay. My second question is how a um a remote works, like so it so it controls the th the TV and then it just sends it to the TV. And it just sends it. That's right. How does a remote work? Hmm. That's a little bit above my pay grade. Some, re some remotes use uh, frequency modulation signal to send, I don't really know how it works. I'll have to get back with you on that one. Okay. Okay, you can have one other question. Okay. You gotta get up here though, you gotta stay in the frame. Okay. I know this is a weird one. Okay. This ought to be interesting. But how do glasses make blind people turn into regular people that can see? Well, it doesn't turn blind people into regular people. But uh, that's another pretty hard one that I can't really remember. Um. Glasses somehow bend the light, because light can be, I don't know if bending is the right word, refracted? Refraction? So where the light is supposed to come into the lens on your eye and get focused towards the back of the eye <clears throat> so you can properly see, mm -hmm. when you need glasses that doesn't work correctly. So when you put on glasses, as such, it takes that light and somehow focuses it back correctly at the back of the eye so that the retina and the, uh, all the cool stuff that God gave us in our eye that I know nothing about um, get in the frame. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting. That's alright, it's the first show. Are we going to actually put it on YouTube? Yeah, you said you wanted to do YouTube. Yeah. Your YouTube. Okay. What do you think about that? Chajingor. Chajingor. As in Chajingor. Alright, tell everybody bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody!